Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining. My name is Jackson Alatash, and in this extremely quickly dangerous video, we're going to discuss something that may save your bacon. So at this point, the person who is in need of bacon saving is in fact yours truly. As you can probably get an idea from the, uh, the HUD down there, uh, as well as the fact there's cracks in my cockpit, things have not gone well. We're sitting at 35% of my hull. We've got all these little fantastic cracks going all over the place on the screen. So really not a great thing. One could assume that my ship is banged up. And uh, really, just to run those assumptions to ground, look at the modules tab over here. So yeah, pretty much I got shot up fairly bad. I was out minding my own business when somebody determined that because I have this fantastic bounty on top of me over here uh, for you know 17 and 21,000 credits, not much, they were going to try and pop me. And I wasn't quite sure if I could take out an, uh, an expert level Imperial Clipper, so I figured I'd roll the dice. I got some rebuys sitting in the bank. And this is the result. He took out a multi-cannon, uh, took out some other stuff here. The important one though are sensors. So if we take a look at sensors in the info form, it'll say standard suite providing basic detection, identification, and targeting capabilities. What they don't tell you is this also means that you can't talk to anybody without your sensors. So if you look out here, we have Stiebler City and all of its majestic phallic glory whirling away here in space. And I need to get in there to get some repairs done, to turn in some missions, and have a great time. But... As we can see here, I can't, can't, can't contact them. We can also see that there are exhaust trails of ships, and you would think that they'd be close enough to at least show up as a blip on there, but I can't see them on my sensors. Why sensors are taken out? So should this happen to you, and should you be in a bad way with a critical system that you need uh, in order to do whatever it is you're after, uh, basically the idea here is to go under functions, you go all the way down to the bottom, right above self-destruct is reboot and repair. So what this does is this reboots your ship. So from here what will happen is the entire ship shuts down, the entire ship comes back up. So we're sitting here sucking nothing for a minute. We can look around, but you know, nothing's going on. Alrighty, so we have two modules which will repair, which were repaired. Now what this does for us is this takes health from other modules that are sitting out there and then uses that health to repair the modules that are at zero. So in this case we have the sensors, we can power them back up, they will boot themselves here, and now we can see that there's a bunch of ships around. We can also talk with the fine people at Stiebler City and we can request docking. So, should you ever find yourself at a bind with modules that need to work, but don't work, that is the easiest way to do it. Just reboot and repair. Um, it won't repair a whole heck of a lot. If you've lost your canopy, you can expect it to not really help you there. Uh, which is probably why it's a good idea that on a combat ship you should always have at least some kind of decent environmental controls or life support. As you can see from that, I really don't. I have five minutes if I lose my uh, end up losing my canopy. Which, you know, is really neither here nor there. You know, if I, if I die, then I die. But uh, it's always important to know what to do if you're out in the middle of nowhere and you end up in a bad way with some worse people. But thanks for taking the time to stop in and take a look at this video. As I run across more of these interesting tips that I think would be really helpful for players, I'll go ahead and throw them up on the channel. My name has been Jack Alatesh, and uh, don't forget to reboot and repair.